Welcome to my build review of the Italeri MiG 29A Fulcrum in the scale 1 to 72. After building three models from Revell, I wanted to try out a different manufacturer of scale models. Therefore, I searched for an Eastern jet because my previous builds were American, French, and German. I was delighted when I found this MiG because it has the markings of the Polish Air Force, which I saw at an air show in 2016. You can find the full video of the MiG as well as displays of other jets on my channel. Another speciality of this build is that it was my first participation in a group build. I want to thank Ian aka the UK scale modeler for telling me about the group build. If you want to participate just take a look on his channel or check out the Facebook group linked in the description. This group build lasts until April so there is plenty of time if you want to contribute to that. What I also quickly want to mention is that I plan my own group build which will be themed damage and destruction. So check out the Facebook group linked in the description. There will also be a separate announcement video on my channel. Now back to the MiG. Unfortunately I can't tell you how many parts the MiG has. But it's a rather new reboxing from 2016 with new decals. Also it was pretty easy to build it so even if you're a beginner I can clearly recommend the Italeri MiG. You can find links to the model in the description. What I also like about the Italeri box are the colored pictures on it. The manual is rather compact but has everything you need in it. Now to the building process. As I already said it wasn't difficult to assemble the MiG. What bothered me though was that there are no decals for the instruments. But as you can see it did not really matter because I used acrylic colors and painted the instruments with a needle. Same goes for the ejection seat and the joystick. Painting these tiny parts was fiddly but it paid off. The needle was my painting instrument and is just on the pick so you can see how small the parts actually are. The fitting of the parts is also good and with a bunch of clothespins and patience you won't have any problems. What stands out are the detailed surfaces, panel lines and the base for the landing gear. The air intakes were a bit difficult to assemble but again I used clothespins to hold them in place. When I had assembled the main parts I already closed the cockpit to prevent dirt or paint to get in there. I used acrylic paint for the cockpit section, painted the canopy glass with the help of some masking tape and closed it. After that I used the pigment liner to write the panel lines. You could still see them after the first layer of paint, but after the third or fourth layer they disappeared. I guess it would be easier with an airbrush but I don't have one. How do you accentuate the panel lines? This is still something I have problems with so please leave me your tips. The panel lines on the bottom of the MiG are more visible because the paint there is lighter. Anyways I continued painting the camo pattern on the MiG. I did this freehand without masking tape and I did not even have the suggested colors from Italeri but it still looks like the real one. After clear gloss coat I applied the decals. I have to say that the Italeri decals are a bit different to those from Revell. I had the feeling that they are a bit more sticky if you get what I mean. On the one hand that's a good attribute, but on the other hand I destroyed a couple of them because you can barely move them once they are on the model. Luckily I did not damage the large emblem on the back of the MiG which consists of three decals. It would have been better to paint the area underneath the large decal white so you can't see the small gaps between them. Meanwhile I also painted some details and parts like the engines and landing gear. I did not take many photos but it all worked well. The landing gear is always a bit of a problem because of all the small parts that should fit together but in the end it all held in place. I also added 6 missiles even though this version of the MiG probably won't be equipped with an armament. Here you can see the final result. Although I had a couple of minor issues the MiG turned out really well. 
a few scratches and stains here and there, but all in all I'm very satisfied. What I like the most are the decals, also I'm pretty proud on my cockpit. To accentuate the panel lines at least to some degree I used the standard pencil, but it could still look better. For some weathering effect I used acrylic paint with water and added a few oil stains at the bottom of the plane. It's a mix after all, and mix have to be dirty in my opinion. What do you think about my mix? Tell me your opinion and leave me some tips for my next models. There is still a Suhoi SU27 flanker waiting to be built, but before that I plan something special. As I said I got this Black Hawk from Hasegawa and want to create some kind of Black Hawk down diorama. This will be part of the damage and destruction group build that I'll announce in a separate video. There is already a link to the Facebook group in the description if you want to be part of it. That's all from me, I hope you enjoyed my review and I wish you a nice day.